What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and we're going to look at the Georgia Bulldogs projected record here in this video. Uh, this is not a prediction. Keep that in mind. This is simply a projection based off of the schedule and how tough the schedule is and roughly how good we think each team is going to be. So before we get to the 2024 projections, let's look back at the projections from 2023. So here were the projections from 2023. You see Georgia, of course, 12-0 in the regular season. Our projection had them at 12-0. My prediction was 12-0. Athlon had them at 12-0. And the over-under was at 11.5. So expectations were obviously very high for Georgia this past season. And you could make the argument that they actually were the best team in college football. Really would have loved to have seen Georgia and Michigan in the national championship just to see. Uh, but they had the one bad game against Alabama. They weren't 100% healthy. Lost that game, and it cost them a shot at a national championship. That won't happen again with a 12-team playoff, but uh, let's get into this projection here. And again, this is the schedule. This is the scale that we use. If it's less than 20 or over 80, it'll be in the red or the green. Those games are counted as wins or losses. Uh, 20 to 29%, 71 to 80%, those are games where I think the spread is going to be double digits, going to be you know 10 to 17 points, kind of in that range, 30 to 39, 61 to 70. Those are games where I think the spread will be uh, a touchdown, six, seven, eight, nine points in that range. And then the the white games in white, 40 to 60 percent. These are your 50 50 games, games where I think the spread will be less than a touchdown and really games that can go either way. Uh, so let's just jump right in. And we do have a tier system that I, that I use for this. It's a formula. This is not a prediction. Keep that in mind. This is not a prediction. It's just a formula. The formula that we used last year did put Georgia, though, at 12 and 0. A much tougher schedule this year, but they do have some pretty easy games in here. Tennessee Tech, Auburn, Mississippi State, UMass. Uh, those are four games that they should win, and they should be uh, considerable favorites, I think, in all four of those games. You look at the Auburn game, that one's kind of tricky because I think that team has a chance to be a lot better this year. And if depending on how much better they are, that could possibly be a game in the blue or even the purple, uh, depending on that. But again, we're leaning more towards how the teams were last year, and I realize that Auburn played them tough last year, but that game was at Jordan-Hare. This time it'll be in Athens. It's a totally different story. Uh, so that's not a guaranteed win, but uh, you know that one's closer to 80%, whereas Tennessee Tech's like 100%, UMass like 100%, Mississippi State's probably closer to 90%. But all these games will be counted as wins here for the projection. So four fairly easy games. Again, we'll see about Auburn, how good they are, and that's why this is, is not a prediction, because by the time we get to predictions, I might feel a lot better about Auburn. Maybe I think that game will be tougher for Georgia. But right now at home, I think that's a pretty easy win. Uh, so let's go to the games in blue. Florida and Jacksonville. Uh, Florida seems to be near the bottom of the SEC. It's a neutral site game. Uh, no real reason to expect Georgia not to be a two-touchdown favorite in this one. Georgia Tech as well. It's at home. I know Georgia Tech played them pretty tough last year. But playing at home... I think they will be favored by a couple of touchdowns in this game as well. So two rivalry games there where I expect Georgia to be favored, but not guaranteed wins. And then we'll go to the games in the purple here. Clemson, Kentucky, and Tennessee. These are all games where I think Georgia will be favored by about a touchdown. Clemson and Atlanta going to be interesting. I really don't know what to expect right now. That game is so far away. Uh, Clemson's going to be a talented team, but I just don't think they're quite on Georgia's level. And again, I do think they'll be favored by about a touchdown in that one. Kentucky, because it's on the road, that's why it wound up in the purple. Again, just with the formula that we use. If I actually had to guess a spread there, I would probably go over, over a touchdown. Probably more like um, 10 to 13. But again, that's just kind of a rough a way of doing this. I do have an actual tier system and a formula that I use. Uh, Tennessee also at home. Uh, this is, so if you're wondering, like Georgia's a tier one team, Tennessee's a tier two team, and the game being at home, that's enough to to make, to put Georgia um, as a, a pretty good favorite in this one. So uh, Clemson, Kentucky, and Tennessee, all games that uh, could be tough, but Georgia clearly going to be favored in all three games. And then you've got Alabama, Texas, and Ole Miss, all 50-50 games. And the projection, when you average it all out, comes out to 9-3. and three. So 9-3, and three, the projected record. No, that does not mean that they're going to lose to Alabama, Texas, and Ole Miss. That's not how this works. Uh, if you plug in the numbers, they would, they would split those games because they're 50-50 games. But when you have games where uh, you're a 60-70% to 70 favorite or whatever, Clemson, Kentucky, Tennessee, 
odds would say you're probably only going to win one of those games, or two of those games, I should say, two of those three games. So if you lose one of those, you lose a couple 50-50 games or even get upset by Florida or Georgia Tech, um, you can see how you could get to 9-3. and three. But uh, me personally, I think this Georgia team is probably going to do better than 9-3. and three. Again, I'm not going to give away an official prediction, but I will probably have them higher than 9-3. and three. But it is tricky with Alabama, Texas, and Ole Miss all on the road, and these are all uh, considered Tier 1 teams. So that's a really tough schedule just with those three games and not a lot of gimme games. Again, we've got Auburn here in the green. That might not be a game that, that – George is favored by 17, 18 points by the time we get there. So this is a really tough schedule with Clemson in the non-conference, a Georgia Tech team that's getting better. Um, and you can see because of this schedule, that's why this Georgia team projected to go just 9-3. and three. Do you agree? Do you disagree with this early projection? Feels like Georgia might be the best team in the country. It's hard to imagine the best team in the country losing three games. But again, it is a very tough schedule. So give me your thoughts down in the comments below.